Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to take a daytime photo and make it look like it was taken at night in Photoshop. Let's get started. Now this effect doesn't work perfectly on all images, but it works best on images that have three attributes. One, the highlights aren't blown out or overexposed. Two, the background has a good separation with the foreground. And three, there's a sharp light source casting shadows. This image has all three of those attributes, so it should work pretty well. The first thing that we want to do is darken our sky, so I'm going to add a hue and saturation adjustment layer. And then if you come up here and click this little hand with two arrows icon, you can then click on an area in your image to choose a color range. So I'm going to click on the blue in the sky, and then come over to my properties panel and change the lightness of my sky from 0 to negative 50 or so. And if I turn that on and off, you'll see that it darkens my sky. Next, I want to darken the overall image, so I'm going to add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer, and just bring the brightness down to about negative 50. Next, I'm going to add a color lookup adjustment layer. Now, in the movie industry, film studios use something called color lookup tables to achieve many of their color toning effects. A color lookup table is basically an index that looks at your image and then replaces each color with an entirely new set of colors. So I'm going to come up to the properties panel of my color lookup layer and under 3D LUT file, I'm going to click that drop down and choose night from day. What that does is looks at your image and replaces all of the typical daytime colors and shades and replaces them with typical nighttime colors. Now the effect is a little strong for me, so I'm going to come down and change the opacity of that layer to 70%. Next, I'm going to come over and add a curves adjustment layer, and I'm going to add two points to my line. One towards the shadows, and I'm going to bring that down to darken the image a little bit. And then closer to my midtones and highlights, I'm going to bring that up just a tiny bit. And that's going to darken the overall image, but also boost the contrast. So now that our recoloring is complete, we're going to add some stars in the sky to make this look a little more realistic. So I'm going to come down and create a new layer and fill it with black. Then I'm going to click Filter, Noise, Add Noise, and you want the amount set to 100%, the distribution set to Gaussian, and monochromatic checked. Next I'm going to click Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and I'm going to set the radius to 0.25 pixels and hit OK. And then I'm going to hide this noise layer for now and choose my background layer. And I'll come up and choose my quick selection tool here. And I'm going to click and drag in my sky to create a basic selection. And you'll notice that it also selected some of the building and the trees and things in the foreground. So now I'm just going to hold Alt and continue clicking and dragging to remove any extra items that aren't the sky. And again, I'll release Alt and click and drag to add some of these areas back in until I refine my selection to just the sky. Now once my selection is made, I'm going to turn back on my Noise layer and select it in the Layers panel. And then I'm going to come down and click the Add Layer Mask button. Photoshop will automatically use my selection as the layer mask for my Noise layer. And if you need to, you can paint on your layer mask with black or white to refine it even further. Next, I'm going to add a levels adjustment layer. And I'm going to set the black stop to about 175. And the middle stop to about 0.25. And if I zoom in a bit, you can see that I now have some stars in the sky. Now, I want my levels adjustment only to affect my noise layer, so I'm going to click this Make Clipping Mask icon. And then I'm going to highlight my noise layer and set the blend mode to screen. So again, if I zoom in, you can see that now there's some realistic stars in the sky. Depending on where your light source is, you could also do things like add a moon into the sky, which wouldn't work for our image because the light source is coming from behind us, which is out of the frame. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. Make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us at designpanoply.com. I'm John Shaver for Design Panoply. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.